I want to show you a little trick about how to compress these things if they're slightly too long. Like this one here is, is about 50 millimeters longer than it should be. I think it's about a um, 50 kilo weighting on it as well, something like that. So it's actually really hard to compress it in order to put like, the bolts in up here. And that's this bolt here, for example. Um, or the bottom one, whichever one you want to look at. So I'm going to show you the old one and um, I'll show you the trick on how to move these things a bit easier in order to do the job. Okay, so here's the struts. Now this is the original one here, which has actually failed. I can actually compress it and it'll just stay compressed. Right, it's gone. This is one I had laying around. I actually picked up a couple some time ago and this one's not been used. I bought a, bought a pair, but I needed actually one of them at the time. That's all I needed, so I've got a spare one. But this one here has got pressure in it, but it's nowhere near as much pressure as the one I've just put on the bus. And I'm going to show you a little trick to how to compress these things so you can actually bolt them on a bit more easily. It's uh, it's actually quite obvious. So here you go, this is what you do. You get a tie down and you just tie it down with that. Okay, I'll tie it in. Let's get the sun. Alright, so this end you have to attach first. Right, so this one's bolted on, this is the shaft end. So that's attached and you've got the hook, or maybe the slot or whatever, but the hook over that end, so that's definitely not going to slip off, alright? Then on this end, because you have to turn the bolt on this, this one's got a different brace now, this one's a bracket, but different. But sometimes you've got these ones which you have to do the nuts up on, and you've got to turn that end piece around so you can't just stick a strap around the, that shaft, because obviously you've got to be able to turn it. But in this case, you don't need to, but it's why to do on a bus was to hook it over like this. Okay? So it's hooked over the end and leave it against the side. So that's not going to slip off. The only basically you've got to do, a bit hard to do it one handed, but it's just turn it up. Just do that. Right. And that is now compressing it. And then you can just do the bolts up, get the bolts lined up, lined up to where you want it roughly, and uh, do it up. Pretty easy, so I hope you found that a tip interesting. If you helped to, make sure you chuck a comment down below. I want to hear your feedback, any other suggestions, any other smart ideas, whatever, um, chuck them down there. You know, I thought I'd do a little two minute tip. I've done these a little while. Catch you later. Don't subscribe and that sort of stuff. Click the bell icon, that's also important. And tell your friends. Bye.